It's time to weaponize your tongue, not against you, but to weaponize it against the enemy. See, too many times the enemy uses our tongue as a weapon against us. You know it's true. The power of death and life are in the tongue. And many times the wicked one puts pressure on our tongue. He puts pressure on our tongue. He tempts us to say things that we know we shouldn't be saying. He tempts us to say things that bring his will to pass in our life. You know it's true. But today we're going to flip the script. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to train you. I'm going to pray with and for you. Because today we are going to use the artillery in our tongue. (laughs) Ha ha. Today, we are going to weaponize our words against the enemy of our soul. Today, we are going to push back the darkness with our weaponized mouth. No longer will the enemy use our words against us. No, we are too savvy for that. We have caught on to the strategy of the wicked one. We have understood the will of the Lord to bring us a future and a hope, to bless us beyond measure. And we will no longer yield our tongue to the enemy, but we're going to release the artillery in our tongue. And we're going to do it for his glory. And we're going to see results. We're going to see breakthrough. We're going to see increase. We're going to see an expansion. We're going to see it in the name of Jesus because we're going to keep on keeping on. We're going to continue to release the artillery in our tongue until we see the perfect will of the Lord come to pass. And until we take back everything the devil stole from us in the past seasons, we're going to do it for his glory. This is Jennifer LeClaire, and this is Mornings with the Holy Spirit pressing in daily to the power and presence of God. I want to remind you, today's broadcast is brought to you by the End Times Watchmen, the intercessor's guide, the prophetic intercessor's guide to praying through the last of the last days. Mike Bickle wrote the foreword, and this is going to equip you to watch and pray in the times that we are in so that you are aware, so that you can be a prophetic solution, so you can see souls saved. I want a million souls in the Middle East. Jesus, I want a million souls and I'm going after a million souls in the Middle East. Amen. And that is part of my end times assignment. What's yours? Check it out. JenniferLeClaire.org slash end times watchmen. You can pre-order it on my website. It will be soon out on other platforms, including Kendall and including an audio version. Check that out, guys. Come on and let me know where you're coming in from, what city, what nation. I want to know. Hello, Arkansas, the Philippines. Good morning. Queensland, Australia. Good morning. Come on in and shout out, share what city, what nation. Uh, Let me know. 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 I want to talk to you this morning. North Alabama, Hershey, Pennsylvania, Morrisville, uh, Carolina, North Carolina. God bless you, North Carolina. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. God is good in Baton Rouge. Share this on your timeline. Share it via Twitter. Share it on Messenger. We are going to start the official broadcast in just a couple of minutes. We're pressing in. We're getting ready. We're shining brightly. We're praying in the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and start praying. Go ahead and start praying in the Spirit. Go ahead and start gearing up. This is the warm up. Well, come on, we're warming up. If you're going to exercise, you're going to warm up. It's the same with prayer. We warm up. We pray in the spirit. Come on. We begin to glorify the Lord. We get on one accord. Netherlands, good morning. Houston, Miami, Florida, Yukon, Fort Bragg, Toowoomba. Amen. God bless you in Toowoomba. God bless you. The nations are here and we're pressing in. Remember, we're looking to sponsor 100 prayer hubs, awakening prayer hubs in Asia. If you are in an emerging economy in Asia, would you please consider standing in the gap in your city, whatever nation you are in, and pressing in for a revival, for awakening, for souls. Amen. The great harvest, signs and wonders, awakeningprayerhubs.com. Apply for a sponsorship today and be a prayer solutionist in your city. Come on in, guys. Keep talking to me. Hello, Texas. Good morning, 
Queensland, Australia. Good evening. Yes. How many of you from Queensland are on here? Are you taking over my broadcast? We need an awakening prayer hub in Queensland. That's what it says. That's the message I'm getting. Awakeningprayerhubs.com. Join the movement. Hello, Yvonne Walker in Michigan. Jesus. Good morning, Louisville, Texas. God bless you. Come on and get settled. In just a minute, we're going to read from... Well, we're going to do the, the roll-in first because this becomes a podcast. You can hear some of these replays either on my YouTube channel or you can head over there to the Mornings with the Holy Spirit podcast wherever you listen to podcasts online as well. Check out my podcast, Praying the News, and the Prayer Warriors podcast will be out probably, hopefully, sometime next week. We're waiting on all of the podcast uh, platforms to uh, approve it. They have to approve it, and they will. And you'll get equipped over there as well. Buenos dias, familia. Hello, Veronica. God bless you in Warwickshire, United Kingdom. God bless you. We need more awakening prayer hubs in the United Kingdom. Lickety split. There's something brewing over there. You know, the queen just celebrated her platinum jubilee. My goodness, 70 years, the longest reigning monarch in the world history. Crazy wild. She brings us stability. Amen. We need to pray. We need to prepare. Amen. God bless you. Come on in, guys. We're going to start. We're going to read from uh, Mornings with the Holy Spirit, pressing in daily to the power and presence of God, pressing in daily, listening daily to the still small voice of God. And I need 450 of you to share this really quickly, please, so we can get started. And then after that, we're going to lift up the name of Jesus. We are just going to praise his name. We are going to lift his name. We are going to just let him know how much we love him. And we are going to, we are not going to be typing today because my computer does not want to give me any juice. My keyboard must be dead. <laughs> but my spirit is alive and Jesus is alive. So we're going to read. We're going to pray. No, nope, I cannot type at all. This computer. Yay. Well, at least my mouse works. Praise God. Thank, thank God for the things in your life that are going right. Amen. 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 Let's not focus on the negative. Let's focus on the positive. Let's focus on what God is doing. So we're going to begin to pray. We never know what's going to happen. Many times we, we receive a prophetic word or God does something spectacular. So come in and just expect today. Stay on one accord. Don't worry about all the goofy people that are trying to sell you prophecies. Just ignore them. Block them. Do what you got to do, but stay on one accord. Where there's unity, God commands a blessing. Amen. He surely does. He surely does. We're going to bring in TikTok here in a minute, Clubhouse, YouTube. You, uh, I'm sorry, not YouTube, but uh, uh, Instagram. Guys, the most stable platform to listen is going to be YouTube and Facebook. Guys, quickly share this. We, we're on a 30-second countdown. A 30-second countdown. I need everybody pushing, pulling, pressing. Share it one last time. Begin to pray in the Spirit. Begin to pray in the Spirit. One a 10-second countdown. How many of you actually do that when I ask you to pray in the spirit? Does anybody actually do that? Just wondering. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. I just, I'm just curious. You don't have to. You're free. You can do whatever you want. Amen. Let's do this. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, Senior Leader of the Awakening House of Prayer Global Movement. This is Mornings with the Holy Spirit, pressing in daily to the power and presence of God. Let me just prophesy to you something good is going to happen to you 
today. Today's broadcast is brought to you by The End Times Watchmen. This new book is coming out in just days. It's the Prophetic Intercessor's Guide to Watching and Praying Through the Last Days. You're going to want to get a copy of this if you are interested at all in intercession. I believe God is handing out end times assignments. You got to learn how to stand in your assignment, to intercede from an eternal perspective, to pray in agreement with God's end times plans, to deliver end times warnings with wisdom, to practically watch for the true signs of the times in Israel and the nations and the church, to navigate eschatological views and apocalyptic dreams and visions, to prepare a generation for the return of the Lord, to walk in an end times lifestyle and anointing. It's all there for you and much, much more. Mike Bickle wrote the forward. This is one of my most important books. It's a sequel to the making of a watchman. Check it out, jenniferleclair.org slash end times watchman. God is so good. I'm coming to you live from South Florida. Our church and house of prayer is here. It's called Awakening House of Prayer. I'm there on Sundays preaching, praying, prophesying, and casting out devils. Our heart is to see awakening and revival in the nations of the earth and in your city. And we want to equip you to live a supernatural breakthrough lifestyle. Give me a year of your life and apply the word I'm teaching and watch the transformation. I'm sharing three different messages every Sunday, unique, utterly unique. And we have prophetic worship, 1047 a.m., 130 p.m., 4 p.m. is straight up equipping. If you're in the region, stop on by and visit with us. Say hello. Uh, get to know us a little bit better. If you don't live in the region, you're not visiting the region, you can watch online at ahop.com. Online, you can become a web church member, go deeper with us, check out the options there. There is a virtual healing rooms and prophecy rooms, virtual pastoral advice, virtual prayer line, virtual life group, and my teaching archives on Awakening House of Prayer. Check it out at ahop.online slash web church. It's all virtual, but it's powerful. We're having testimonies all over the world of changed lives. That second service is School of the Spirit at ahop, school of the spirit.tv. It's 1.30. If you're in the region, stop on by. If not, you're going to watch at schoolofthespirit.tv. The current series is Escaping the Great End Times Deception, schoolofthespirit.tv slash deception. Then that third service is a straight up equipping, either School of Prophecy, School of Prayer, School of Spiritual Warfare, School of Deliverance, or School of the Seers. You're going to want to check that out at School of the Spirit. Dot TV. Today, we're going to read from my first devotional, Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. And today's devotion, oh, you're going to like this. Today's devotion is titled, I am changing you. I am changing you. And here's what I heard the Lord say. I, I know that you see in part and know in part where I want to take you. <laughs> Boy, isn't that the truth? Let me start over. The Lord says, I know that you see in part and know in part where I want to take you. And you realize it's good. You want to get to that place in Christ now. You want to be more like him right now. But be assured, know and believe that I am changing you from glory to to glory. Be patient with yourself and be patient with the process. We are patient with you, says the Lord. And the Lord says, I'm transforming you into the image of Christ little by little. Your job is to spend time with me, spend time in the word and believe, only believe. You can't change yourself, but be assured, know and believe I am doing it says the Lord. Come on, that's good news. How many of you have things in your life you'd like to see changed? How many of you want to change the way you think, change the way you see things, change the way you relate to people, change the way you, come on, who wants some change today? The change agent is here. His name is Holy Spirit. He dwells on the inside of you along with the kingdom. <laughs> you are changing even now. Some of you feel it. You feel the growing pains. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, I'm coming. I got a word in my spirit. Listen, scripture references are in the devotional. Pick up your copy of Mornings with the Holy Spirit wherever you buy books online. Now, the prayer starter. I've tried and failed to change myself. I can't do it. 
I choose now to yield to your work in my life. You're so patient and kind, Lord. I surrender my heart to you and ask you to take me from glory to glory as I fellowship with you and meditate on your word. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Father, we thank you today that you are a good, good father. You are the change agent. You're the one who perfects us. You're the author of our faith, the finisher of our faith. You are the one who perfects us along the way. We are changing day by day, even if we can't feel it, even if we can't sense it. When we're in your presence, we must know, we must know, we must know that we are changing. We are changing. We are on our way to another glory. We are on our way to another faith. We are on our way to another strength. We are moving toward our highest calling. So Father, we praise you and we thank you that you don't leave us where we are. You love us too much to leave us as we are. You are transforming us into the image of Christ. You are making us more patient. You are making us more uh, adaptable to your will. You are making us, you are making us, you are making us into the prophetic voices that you've called us to be. You are making making us into the prayer warriors that you've called us to be. You are making us into compassionate people, those who work signs and wonders and miracles. You are making us, you are making us, you are making us, you are molding us, you are sculpting us. So we yield to you today, God. We say yes to whatever you want to make us into. We see in part, we know in part, but we don't know. We don't know in full. We don't know. We don't know what we're going to have to go through to get there. We don't know. We don't know how long it's going to take. We don't know. We don't know what kind of sacrifices we're going to have to make. We don't know. We don't know what kind of suffering we're going to endure. We don't know. We don't know, but we know the one who knows, and we will choose today to stand in faith, to believe believe you in the process, to believe you for the breakthrough, to believe that the change agent is working in us even now, changing our minds, changing our hearts, changing our thoughts, changing our speech, changing our perspectives, changing our viewpoints. God, would you help us today? We want to change. Hey, come on. Who needs a change? Hey, come on. Who needs to see some change in your life? Maybe you want to see your spouse change. Maybe you want to see your financial status change. Maybe you want to see your child change. Maybe you want to see that issue, that persistent issue change. Let me just tell you something. The change begins with you. The change begins with me. When we change the way we think, we'll see a different way. We'll see the answer. We'll see the way through. We'll see the strategy. We'll see the tactic. When we change, when we change, when we change, things around us will begin to change. Or even if they don't, it won't bother us. We'll be content because we changed. It won't trouble us. We won't worry because we changed. We won't be afraid. We won't be anxious because we've changed. So Lord, help us today because I know that you're always working to change us, but we need to cooperate with you. We need to yield to you. We need to let you do your thing and have your way because you are the only one who knows the kind of change we really need in our lives. <laughs> we think we know what needs to change and we look to the external. We look to the outside. We look to our bank account. We say, I need a change. We look to our family and we say, they need to change. We look at our workplace and we say, it needs to change. We look around us at the outside, the external, and we want change. But Lord, help us to look inside. Help us to be self-aware. Help us to be a people who are sensitive to your spirit so that when you put your finger on something in our lives that you want to change, we can say, yes, Lord, change me. Yes, Lord, break that off of me. Yes, Lord, move me out of this place into that place because only you can. Jesus, would you help us? Would you help us? Would you help us? And the Lord showed me that some of you are going through growing pains and you don't know that's what it is. Right when we began the broadcast, when I was reading the prophetic word, the Holy Spirit showed me so clearly. That's why I said, oh, my Jesus, my Jesus, my Jesus, because I wanted to bust out of the gate. But I needed to prepare your heart a little bit in prayer so that you would receive this, so that you could see this, so that you could comprehend this. Some of you are going through growing pains and you don't recognize that's what it is. And it's really troubling you. 
but it's actually a good thing. There's some pain in your life. It's growing pain. It's actually a good thing. I know it doesn't feel good. I know it doesn't look good. I know it doesn't sound good. I know that, <laughs> I know, believe me, I get it. But the Lord is showing me that so many of you, it's not this, it's not, it's not even the pain of the past. Some of you are looking around trying to figure out what kind of demon you need to get delivered from. What is wrong with me? What is going on? And the Lord would say to you today, accept the growing pains, embrace the growing pains for they will not endure forever, says the Lord. But my purpose and plan for you will endure through the pain. It will endure through the suffering. And I have put strength in you, says the Lord so that you will not fall and you will not fail and you will not falter. So grab a hold of my hand, says the Lord, and let me help you walk through the seasons of pain, the seasons of suffering. These are the elements that can form you into the image of my son. These are the experiences that prepare you for the promise. These are the situations and the circumstances that cause you to put more faith in me in the future because you saw my deliverance and you will see my deliverance again and again and again and again. So stand strong even in the midst of the growing pain, says the Lord, for the pain will not endure forever, but my word will endure over your life, come hell or high water, come attack or lack, whatever comes your way, my word will stand in your life. I am watching over my word to perform it. So don't despise the growing pains, but see them for what they are. It's a launching pad. It's a platform for increase. Just endure it. Just wait on me. Just stand and withstand and know that I will work something good out of your present pain because that's who I am. I'm the God who gives beauty for ashes, the, the uh, oil of joy for mourning. I am the God that makes the crooked places straight and the wrong things right. But I have need of endurance in your life so that you can endure to the end so that you may be saved and take many with you into my eternal kingdom, says the Lord. Jesus. Jesus, help us not despise the growing pains, God. Help us not despise the growing pains, God. Help us not despise the growing pains, God. Help us not complain about the growing pains, God. Help us not to get all upset about the growing pains, God. We wanted growth. We prayed for growth. We sowed into growth. We expected growth. And here comes the growth. It's imminent. It. Here comes the growth. It's right around the corner. Here comes the growth. We can't see it. We don't know for sure it's coming except through the eyes of faith. And the pain of growing has caused some of our eyes to get cloudy. There's been tears. There's been frustration. There's been aggravation. But the Lord is saying, don't despise the growing pains. Now hold on to him because you will endure and his plan will endure and his word will endure in your life. These things are meant to give us endurance. So, Father, we thank you that you put an enduring spirit in us, that we can endure the pain of growth. <laughs> Come on. So many of you out there, you want your church to grow. You want your business to grow. There will only be growth that's uh, uh, the, the only growth you can sustain is growth that's in line with your pain threshold. In other words, growth always brings pain. <laughs> We don't want to hear that, do we? Growth always brings pain. If you have a church of 30 people, you have 30 person pain. If you have a church of 500 people, you got a lot more pain. You think you have pain because you're small? Watch how much pain you're going to have when you get big. When your business is just getting off the ground, when you're scrambling for clients, you have some pain at that level, but you have a lot more pain when you have 15 employees and you got to make payroll every week. So be careful what you pray for, because when you pray for increase and you pray for expansion and you pray for enlargement and you pray for growth, God will bring it, but not until the pain comes. There's pain to get to it. There's pain in it. You still want the growth? It's part of life. It's just part of life. So Father, help us not despise the pain. The pain that comes before the growth, the pain that comes in the midst of growth, the pain that comes after growth. Help us, Lord. You showed Paul all the things that he must suffer to do your will. You showed him. You showed him ahead of time. And he did it anyway. 
Usually you don't show us, Lord, because we might give up and quit. We might faint in the day of adversity. Our strength may be too small to continue down the path you've called us to. If we knew all the suffering, we would have to endure. But weeping may endure for a night, but joy endures forever. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand, pleasures forevermore. So help us, Lord, today not to despise the pain of growth, the growing pains but to accept that it is part of the process. Jesus had the pain of betrayal. Jesus had the pain of being misunderstood. Jesus had the pain of the crucifixion. Jesus had the pain of rejection. Jesus had the pain of being falsely accused. Jesus had plenty of pain as his ministry grew. And so will we. It's just the way it works. Sorry to tell you that this morning. But the Lord is saying, don't despise the growing pains. Don't despise the growing pains. Come on, that's a good word. I don't care where you're from. Don't despise the growing pains. Don't get all stressed out when the, when the pain comes. The pain refines you. The fire refines you. The pain, it gives you a context for the joy. The joy will be sweeter. After you get through the pain, you'll have a new perspective. You'll be more compassionate. You'll be more willing. And maybe the next time you'll catch on to what's happening a little bit sooner. Maybe we'll stop resisting God when the pain comes because we think it's the devil. And sometimes it is, but sometimes it's just a process. It's called the refiner's fire. Help us, Lord. 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 It's going to be okay. Somebody needs to hear that. God will not let more come upon you than what you can bear. Now, if you try to bear it in your own strength, it'll seem like too much. People get confused about that scripture. Oh, that's not true. God had let more come on me than I can bear. He has let, he has let more come on me. No, you're just not leaning on him. He'll help you carry it. He'll help you bear the pain. He'll help you bear the drama. He'll help, he'll help you bear the trauma. He will help you bear it. Sometimes you're carrying the cross, but when you can't carry it anymore, the cross will carry you. So, Father, thank you. Come on, we're going higher. Share this quickly with somebody. There's somebody listening to me right now, and you've just gotten yourself into a, the mess of your life by marrying someone that you were warned not to marry. You know what you can do, sweetheart? You can go right up to that divorce court and file a claim and get your life back. It's up to you. Sometimes we have to learn some painful lessons. Someone took advantage of you. They come in trying to take everything you own. They did not really want to marry you for who they are, for who you are. They came in and just wanted your money. And you need to get over to that divorce court and have that thing annulled and press charges on that scam artist. Did you hear me? In the name of Jesus. Share this quickly. We're going to step into this next. <laughs> the person I'm talking to knows who I'm talking to. And we're here to help you, but you got to, you got to leave the scam artist outside the door. Jesus. All right. Let's transition to that. I know that was unusual because I see somebody on here that just got massively scammed and I'm trying to help them. It is my only opportunity to say something. All right, guys, share this quickly. Share it on your timeline. Share it via Messenger. Share it via Twitter. Share it anywhere and everywhere. I want to take us into this next segment on the artillery in your tongue. Did you know you have artillery in your tongue? You know you have artillery in your tongue. You've got weapons of warfare in your mouth. Let me show you the scripture. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Here it is. Psalm 149, verse 6. Psalm 149, verse 6. God's high and holy praises fill their mouths. 
for they shout for their shouted praises are their weapons of war. Jesus. God's high and holy praises fill their mouths, for their shouted praises are their weapons of war. See, your shouted praise is a weapon. You know how one way you weaponize your tongue, there are more than one way. There's more than one way. One way to weaponize your tongue is to release praises. Your praise is a weapon. Your praise weaponizes your tongue. Your praise releases the firepower in your mouth. The praise of God on your lips shifts atmospheres. It shifts your atmospheres. It shifts your thinking. It shifts your mindset. It shifts the enemy out of the way because he cannot stand to continue to hear the praises of God. Now, that's not the only warfare strategy, and I have to say that. But the Bible says that God enthrones the praises of his people. And if we want to shift nations with prayer, we need to incorporate praise. We need to incorporate worship. We need to pray. We need to fight. We need to war and we need to worship. Sometimes worship is the warfare. Sometimes worship prepares our heart for the warfare. Sometimes worship comes after the warfare, but we must begin to weaponize our mouth. We must begin to release the artillery in our tongue. We must begin to praise the Lord with all of our soul and all that is within us. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the trumpet sound. Praise him with the lute and harp. Praise him with the tambourine and dance. Praise him with the strings and pipe. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name, that he is Lord, that he is King, that he is the bright and morning star. Oh, Jesus, help us today to make a joyful noise to the Lord of all the earth, a joyful noise to the King of Kings, the Savior of the world, the one who come before us to make a way for us. Help us, Lord, to serve the Lord with the praise in our mouth, to come into your presence with singing, knowing that you are the Lord. You are God. You are the one who created us. You are Elohim and we praise you. We belong to you and we are tightly in your grip and no one shall snatch us from your hand. So we praise you. We are your people, the sheep of your pasture. We will know your voice. We will not be deceived. We will go forth understanding what your will is and we praise you that you are able to make yourself known. You are able to make yourself clear. You are able to make what you want for our lives apparent to our hearts. We're going to enter your courts with thanksgiving and you're going to enter your gates with praise and we're going to thank you. We're going to bless your name for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. We give you praise God. We give you praise God. Come on. Can you begin to feel your atmosphere shifting? Can you begin to feel your mind shifting? Some of you are are, are suddenly coming into a sober mind. Some of you are suddenly coming into an understanding. Some of you, the witchcraft is breaking even now. Some of you, you're beginning to get a clarity that you hadn't had. Keep praising him. Lord, our mouth will be filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. Praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his steadfast love endures forever and ever and ever with with our mouths, we will give great thanks to the Lord. We will praise him in the midst of the throng. Let him praise. Let us praise your great and awesome holy name. Holy, holy, holy is he. Holy, holy, holy is he. For it is good to sing praises to our God. For it is pleasant and a song of praise is fitting. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He builds up our spirits. He builds up our cities. If the Lord isn't building it, we labor in vain. But the Lord is working with us. The Lord is building with us. The Lord is bringing revival to our hearts. Revival begins with us. He he helps us. He sings songs of deliverance over us. We will praise the name of God with a song. We will magnify him with thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise the Lord from the heights. Praise him all ye angels. Praise him all ye hosts. Praise him sun. Praise him moon. Praise him shining stars. 
Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, you highest heavens. Praise him, you waters above the heavens. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. They've been maintained by his spirit, not by might, not by power, but by your spirit. Oh, Jesus, we will praise you. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We praise you for your mercy. We praise you for your son. We praise you that you filled us with your spirit. We give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods for his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, give praise for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who by understanding made the heavens for his steadfast love endures forever. O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name for the wonderful works you have done. You planned things from before the foundation of the earth and you are faithful to watch over your word to perform it. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We exalt you. We praise your name for you have done wonderful things. You continue to do wonderful things. You are the only God, our savior, our Jesus, our provider, our healer, our deliverer, the glory that is within us. You are our majesty. You have dominion and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. We give you praise. We give you glory. Amen. You are holy, holy, holy. Amen. We thank you, Jesus, for who you are. Amen. We exalt you, our God. Amen. You made us a kingdom, a priest, your God, our Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen and amen. Come on. Did you sense that? Did you feel that? If some of you would just take five minutes and just praise the Lord continually, you wouldn't be depressed. You wouldn't be obsessed. You wouldn't be distressed. You wouldn't be oppressed. If you would just praise him, when you feel like something's encroaching on your territory, if you would just thank him, if you would just praise him, if you would just worship him. Amen. It might not cause all the warfare to stop immediately, but you'll get a strategy. You'll see more clearly. You'll begin to understand what to do. Amen. Amen. I began to pray this week on Monday. It was like crazy. I thought, I'm just tired. I worked hard all weekend. I'm going to sit in the presence of the Lord. Tuesday, I woke up. I felt like something's wrong. Wednesday, I woke up and I pressed through a bunch of warfare. Thursday, I woke up. I said, there's just something wrong. I said, I'm not doing anything else until I stop to praise him. I'm not pressing through it. I'm going to praise through it. I'm not going to sit here and wonder what it is. I'm going to get in his presence and find out what it is. And the Lord showed me where the warfare was coming from. But I had to rest. I had to pray. I had to praise. I had to study. I had to sit and know that he is the Lord waiting upon him to give me the revelation of what was happening. And when I got it, I said, my God. And when I understood what was coming against me, I got excited. And when I saw what the enemy had planned, I got emboldened. And when I recognized where the attack was coming from, I got determined. And I got up and did a three days work in half a day because the grace of God is sufficient for you, no matter what you're fighting, no matter what you're battling, no matter what you're walking through, even if it's the fire of God itself, his grace, his grace, his grace is sufficient for you. And I see it. It's all part of my high calling. And what you don't understand many times is the warfare that you are facing right now is not really about right now. It is about the future. It is about the prize. It is about the goal. It is about the high calling. It is about the fruit that will remain and be credited it to your account if you keep pressing. Many people don't understand that. Oh, you may be doing something now to cause warfare. I'm not saying that you're not. What I'm saying is if you don't understand what's coming against you and why, you can be easily discouraged. You can be taken off track. But when you can see it, an enemy exposed and an enemy defeated. And you better believe we're going into Asia. I'm going to sponsor 100 prayer hubs, awakening prayer hubs in Asia. And if you're in Asia, in an emerging economy, all of Asia, the Middle East, the Far East, Southeastern Asia, I want you to consider becoming an Awakening Prayer Hub leader and stand in your city for awakening, revival, and the harvest of souls. If you are an intercessor, you know one in an emerging economy in Asia, Thailand, uh, uh, Cambodia, hmm, Iran, Iraq, North Korea. 
South Korea. We want to stand and pray. We want to stand with you. I want to sponsor your prayer hub. Fill out that application over there at awakeningprayerhubs.com. You're going to find it. Oh, look, my keyboard started working again. Devil is a liar. Go to awakeningprayerhubs.com. Click join the movement. You're going to see the options there. Apply for a sponsorship. Please fill out the full sponsorship form or it will be discarded. Don't put yes, no, yes, no, I don't know. If you really want to have a, if you have a passion for your city, you have a passion for your nation, I want to invite you to apply, but please fill it out all the way, please. We don't have time to play. If we don't pray, we're going to pay. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus. Jesus. I can't put, the, I can't paste anything in there. My keyboard's still not letting me do that. Jesus is the answer. Jesus said, occupy till I come. He said, pray without ceasing. The Holy Spirit gave those words to Paul. And we need to be about our father's business. We need a prayer hub in Afghanistan. We need more prayer hubs in Canada. Amen. Check that out. We'll talk more about that. I want to uh, uh, let you in on three ways you can really help us if this broadcast is blessing you. I want to share with you three ways that you can help us. Uh, you can share this broadcast. That would help us. You can share this in your timeline via Twitter and Messenger. Amen. You can, uh, I can't seem to copy and paste anything over here. I do not know what's going on with this computer. Jesus, help me. Oops, and now all my stuff got messed up. Anyway, you can uh, join the prayer army, my prayer army, jenniferleclair.org. Uh, actually, it's prayforjennifer.com. Sorry. It's prayforjennifer.com. Any prayer hubs in my question mark? I don't know where your question mark is, but if you go over there to awakeningprayerhubs.com slash find a hub, you'll figure it out. You can sow a seed into this ministry. You can sow at uh, jenniferleclair.org slash donate. You know, Jesus said, God, uh, the Bible says that God is not willing to do without a prompt, cheer, uh, a cheerful prompt to do a giver whose heart is in his giving. We need to be a people who have our heart in our giving, not to be manipulated into it, not to be guilted into it, not to be shamed into it, not to do it out of duty or obligation, but because our heart is in it. And we want to see the gospel go forth. We want to see prayer go forth. We want to see missions go forth. We want to see all of this go forth. And every once in a while, be good. Those of you who are listening and are blessed by this, if you would sow a seed of appreciation so we could keep on going, we could keep on going. It, it does cost money to do ministry. So we're asking you to help forward that cause. Hello, Vicki. Yes, we... We did write you back, Vicki. Check your spam if you're not getting anything. JenniferLeclair.org slash donate. You can use the uh, Cash App. Cash App is dollar sign prophetic books. Dollar sign prophetic books. You can use the text to give. Text the word pray to 754-701-2161. Text the word pray to 754-701-2161. You can use the... Venmo. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the text to give. Did I do that already? I did. You can use the PO box. See, all my screen is all messed up where I have all that written down. You can use the text to give. You can use the Venmo. You can use the PO box. PO box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida 33303. PO box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida 33303. Three. Check it out. Father, we thank you that you multiply the seed, that you help us to steward all these donations, that you bless the givers because they're cheerful, they're prompt to do it, and their heart is in their giving. And we know you're not willing to do without them. We know that you give seed to the sower and bread to the uh, bread to the eater. So we're not going to eat our seed. We're going to sow it. And we're going to have plenty of bread, cast our bread on many waters today, and we're going to find an abundant harvest. We praise you. We love you. We thank you, Jesus, for who you are. For multiplying the seed in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.
cool, Vicky. All right, we have some of our stuff is getting stuck on our back end of our website and the developer can't figure out why, so they're checking it twice a day. Everything with prayer hubs has been a battle, but we are winning. Amen. We are winning. All right. Uh, we need to. I'm going to warn you, Michael, don't come on here seeking to pray for people on my broadcast. We don't know you from Adam. We don't know who you are. Those people who come on here uh, pr wanting to pray for you, don't let them. You don't know who these people are. A lot of them are false prophets, and they're gonna well, they're gonna want money after they pray for you. So I don't know if that's Michael's thing. He could be the nicest guy in the world, but generally speaking, when people start doing that, it's not a good thing. And you all know that. So I'm trying to protect you. Amen. I'm trying to protect you. People have have taken my name and likeness onto TikTok. They've taken my name and likeness on Facebook and these others and YouTube, and they're pretending to be me and, and telling you I'll pray for you and just be very, 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 very careful. Make sure you, you, you know, I don't write notes to you about beloved orphanages and stuff like that. So that's not me. Amen. 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 Hello, Alicia. I don't have two accounts on TikTok. Uh, Carol, that's the point. That's what you're pointing out, right? Yeah, I don't. There's actually several and they're not. The only one that's mine is mine. And you can tell which one's mine. Some of you are saying, yeah, you discerned it. <laughs> Amen. Somebody looking for Jenny. Is anybody here named Jenny? Hello, 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 hello. You work the graveyard shift in Arizona. Well, God bless you. Yabashi, rabashi, katarabashi. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Carol, you're going to get on there and bust all those false people to try to pretend to be me. Report them. I reported them already a couple weeks ago, and TikTok's not doing anything about it. They're probably flooded with those requests. How you doing over there on Instagram? Good. Guys, make sure you're following me on all these platforms. Thank you, Ethos Coaching. God bless you. God bless you. How you doing over there on TikTok? And Carol's not on TikTok today. Yes, scammers and hackers are taking the words of prophets and putting them on their website. People do that to me all the time. Sure. Carol is not on TikTok today. Sure. <laughs> See the every Thursday in Spanish, the Tijuana prayer hub. We have a pro-life prayer hub. Prophetess, that's one of those things that we needed to talk about. Our five-year anniversary for prayer hubs, I think it's uh, Sunday, but we'll celebrate it publicly Monday. Hello, Lourdes. Praying for you. Hope you got my email yesterday, Lourdes. Praying for you, but on my heart. Abu Dhabi in the Middle East. God bless you. I wonder if you all would agree with me. I have a prayer request. I want to agree. I want to pray just real quickly for something we need in our ministry. Would you agree with me in prayer? Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you that you would order our steps to the next facility that you have for us. 
in Jesus' name. God, provide all the resources, the labor, the money, the cameras, the technologies, everything we need uh, as you expand our territory in this season, as you uh, bring us into the proper um, campus, the proper facilities that we can uh, steward the prayer and worship movement that you've given us, God. We're asking you, Lord, for more than enough. We're asking you, Lord, for divine connections. We're asking you, Lord, for favor with people who own properties and steward properties. We're asking you, Lord, to help us, Lord, to, uh, to, 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 to tap into heaven's resources, to extend beyond our current borders, God, in South Florida. And we ask you, God, to bring in the right personnel, the right worship leaders, the right intercessors, the right counselors, the right staff that can help to steward this great movement that you put in our hands. I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name for awakening prayer hubs, that you're expanding our territory. I thank you, Lord, for awakening House of Prayer and Jennifer Clare Ministries, the School of the Spirit, and all those who are connected with it, that they will be blessed by it, that they would grow spiritually, and they would grow in wisdom and grace and in their gifts. I thank you, Lord, for the influence and the increase that uh, you've put in our hands. Lord, help us to steward it well as we take the next steps in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Some of y'all just couldn't couldn't agree with me, could you? That's all right. I'm going to pray for you anyway. Do we have prayer hubs in London? There's lots of prayer hubs in London. You can go over there and look on the map at uh, awakeningprayhubs.com slash find a hub. I am hungry, 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 hungry. Thank you. Thank you, David Hicks. God bless you. Sacramento, California. God bless you. You know, prayer is everything, guys. No sense in striving. God wants to do it for you. doesn't mean it's going to be easy. But God's going to do it for you. Thank you for agreeing. I just like to do that now and again. I just started doing that. I thought, man, I'm praying for you guys for like 45 minutes. And if I could get you to agree with me, as I've agreed with you, then we might really see something special. Amen. All depends on God. It's not by might, not by power, but by his spirit. <laughs> Amen. God bless you guys. Love you. Get ready for Pentecost on Saturday. This one lady really just about cussed us out yesterday. Because we can't have all these children in the sanctuary. There's fire marshal rules and kids worker rules. We have to have so many, so many adults per child and all these things. And she said, oh, that's not right. That's not right. <laughs> God would never allow that. Okay, well, what God would allow and what the fire marshal allows are two different things. So if you've got a bad attitude on Pentecost, please don't come. Because we don't want our atmosphere to be filled with negativity. We're believing for a great outpouring. And if you're watching the Pentecost service online, Tongues of Fire, uh, we will uh, uh, send out a link for you to watch it. Okay. So don't worry about that. We will send it out. We will do it. You're flying in the morning. Amen. All right. Come with a good attitude. Come with a good attitude. I won't mention names, but this lady was invoking all kinds of names against me. <laughs> and uh, I, I had to laugh and then I had to break curses and then she threatened me to cancel all her tickets and all her friends tickets too and I said that's that's perfect cancel I don't want your friends there either if they're if they're going to behave that way we have to cause, could, we have to preserve an atmosphere where the Holy Spirit feels welcomed and the more people you let in with bad attitudes the more you have to plow in prayer to overcome all that Amen, amen, amen. God is good. Atmospheres are everything because atmospheres are dictated by either demons or or or, uh, or the Holy Spirit or the heavenly hosts. We don't want demonic atmospheres. Amen, 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 amen. All right, I'm out. Have a breakthrough day.